What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here. So, I am now at, uh, I'm not sure what you call this. The number here, is that, like, rank 6? Because I always think in scrolls it's, like, rank 6 means you're the 6th best player in the world. But this, is like, goes backwards and everything, and I don't know, but I'm halfway to 0, and 0 is the best, uh, rank I think you can have. Um, so now, it looks like getting to 0 is a reasonable goal to do before uh, Tuesday. This Tuesday is the wipe for closed beta. Everybody who's playing alpha will easily be able to play closed beta, so don't worry about that. But there's going to be a wipe. You lose all your gold and collection of cards and stuff. Uh, today, rather than trying to get closer to rank zero, I'm actually going to do something new. I'm going to play the gauntlet. So the gauntlet is duelist version of a draft mode like uh, judgment in scrolls or the arena in hearthstone it costs 150 gold to play which i've been earning all day today it takes a very long time to earn gold in this game uh, but i wish i knew the gauntlet costs 150 gold beforehand or i would have saved 150 gold instead of buying all the packs but whatever i'm just gonna get a gauntlet in uh before the the duelist wipe and Gauntlet is only available to play on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And let's head in. So I'm not sure exactly how it works. So Gauntlet's currently in preview mode. Obviously you get prizes if you win, I guess, because it costs 150 to enter. So it's similar to, like, Judgment, I guess. Draft a deck of 30 cards. Play until you lose three times. And I think it also ends if you win nine times. Uh, I'm not positive on that, but I'm pretty sure. Okay, so only 30 card deck, just like uh, scrolls for Dusher. So let's start. Um, so does it have three random factions here? Or does everybody get the same three factions to choose from on the Gauntlet deck? Well, there's no Lion Art here, so I'm not going to be comfortable playing uh, my deck because I have not played with anything besides Lion Art yet. But I guess it's going to be cool to experiment with some new cards. And I'm going to go with Vitruvian. I've liked uh, seeing people play Vitruvian. I think it's pretty good with the blast mechanic. So I'm going to try it out. And here we are. So every time we get three cards to choose from, which is our curve down here, that's if we want to stop playing or end our gauntlet run. So let's start this. Uh, I, these are all like new cards, so forgive me if this video is going to be longer because I'm going to slow this down. I don't know any of these cards. Gift okay, because it's not Lionar. Plus 3 health and draw a card. That seems pretty good. Refresh your general's artifacts to full charges. Not bad. And restore all health to all friendly minions. Um, I think I'm going to take this dude, Imperial Mechanist. He might be good. Okay. Uh, Alright, there are a neutral card that shows up with, so... I will be okay there. Um, lower a minion's attack to zero until your next turn. Or do I take one of these? I think I'm going to take one of these. I'll just get to take the four drop the fire spitter. So it shows our deck up here. Um, opening Gambit, deal 3 damage to all nearby enemies. This is gonna summon a Dervish. This has Rush. I think we want the 6 drop. Uh, give all from the minions plus their health again. Hmm. None of these are too good. I think I'll just take the, uh, unit though. I mean, units probably win games. But this is good. Deal 2 damage to the enemy general and all nearby enemy minions. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take this. I think it's a good spell. My first, uh, my first spell. Um, now, this is a very good card draw, but I think just taking the one drop Pyromancer might be the best idea. Yeah, I'm gonna take him. I really like him. Blast just seems so good. Uh, there's airdrop, I'm gonna take the obelisk now. I've seen those things really be a pain in the butt for me. Do 
Do I take a flying dude or a strong four drop? I think a nice healthy four drop is the right choice. Okay, so Purgatos, I've played with him before. Don't love him, he's okay though. I've never seen this guy before. Whenever your general takes damage, restore this minion to full health. Okay. And opening game with this minion becomes a copy of an enemy minion. Ooh. This is cool. I almost want to pick it, but I think I should take the 5 drop. I have no 5 drops left, so I'm going to take the Storm Defender. But that card is definitely cool. It's a copy. It's like a little ditto. Uh, man, a lot of inner oasis here in Vitruvian. Enslave. Take control of an enemy minion next to your general. Interesting, but cost 7. I don't think I'm going to want to get to 7. And I don't know. Feels like it's very situational. You'll need like a very powerful unit from them. So I'm gonna just take this uh this Imperial Mechanist. Problem is, I don't have any artifacts for my general yet, so maybe I should just hold off on that. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna take the inner oasis now. I've seen this come up too many times. Probably it's a pretty good card, so I'm gonna take it finally. Four drop, five through with flying. One friendly minion gets plus two, plus four, and provoke. Uh, destroying the enemy minion next to your general. I like this outright destroy card. So I'll take this. Although I really want buffs for my blast guy. However, only one blast guy. Hmm. Do I take another blight? Blight? Death blighter? Blaze hound is an airdrop. And a ephemeral shroud. I need two drops, only two two drops. I know Death Fighter is a pretty good six drop it seems, but I think just the two drop that I know it's going to be useful, the Dispel, so important, I'm going to take that. And really turn around games, a Dispel. Whoa, why did this one like glow longer? Oh, BS. Oh, is the rarity every turn the same? Every round of picking? I don't know. Rasha's Curse. Destroy a random artifact on the enemy general, then summon a uh, 2 2 der Dervish with Rush next to the enemy general. That's pretty good. I've played with this before. It's a solid four drop in my opinion. And my general gains blast. Uh, I'm gonna go with the wildfire. All of both of these are pretty good. I really want to. I really like the blast mechanic. I'm gonna take that. And now I actually have a use for whatever that three drop I took was. Uh, it was one of the first cards I took. I don't know where it is. I was right here. Imperial mechanist. So. Now, unlike scrolls, I think this, I have to play with every card I draft. So there's not going to be any dead cards I can take. So a 4 drop with Revoke. This is a Blood Tier Alchemist. Just deal 1 damage. And a Primus Fist. Um, I think I'm going to take the... I don't have any Provoke guys yet, so maybe that's a good idea. Actually, no, I'm just going to take the Primus Fist. Eh. Yeah. Never mind, I'm gonna take the Blood Tear Alchemist. I want just ways to deal damage. Okay, I've seen this guy before. Friends, whenever you summon a minion, this minion gives plus one attack. Mobius, I've never seen this. Mobius. At the start of your turn, restore all health to this minion and switch its stats. Uh. Seems confusing. <laughs> and another Rasha's Curse. I'm going to take this Portal Guardian, a nice frenzy unit. Uh, another Death Blighter, Frostbone Naga, open a Gambit, deal 2 damage to all nearby minions and generals. And General gains plus 3 attack, oh, this is tough, I really, I think it's between these guys. I'm leaning towards the artifacts, from so far i play played this game, artifacts are just so strong. A lot of them, especially this, put it, put it on me. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Uh, Dune Caster. Opening gamut. Give plus two, plus two to friendly Dervish minion. Dervish targeted by this effect becomes permanent. Well, I only have one thing that summons Dervishes, right? I only have one of those obelisks so far. So maybe Orb Weaver. So I can get two, two, twos for three. And another Blood I'm gonna take the Orb Weaver. I like getting multiple two, twos. This. 
is what I want. Starfire Scarab. It has four attack, has blast. This is very good. Bone Storm also very good, and Tropic Day very good. I have both of these in the deck already, but I want this guy. Great five drop in my opinion. Not sure if I'm having too many minions or too few minions. I want probably like about 18 to 20 minions in a 30 card deck. So what is this right now? So far I've picked 18 cards. So I'm about where I should be in minions, I guess. Uh, Mana Forge. I don't have that many spells, so it doesn't look like Mana Forge is going to help too much. I'll just take the Emerald Rejuvenator. Seems okay. I can restore health to my general. Uh, Crimson Oculus. Whenever opponent summons a minion, this minion gains plus one, plus one. Sand Howler, I don't really like him. Take control of an enemy minion. Alright. Slave, like I said, just a little expensive, so I'm just going to take the... the three drop I think okay I want like stronger spells now I have a lot of minions well this let's see what this minion does a lot of minions I've never seen before open a gamut friendly minions can't be targeted by spells until your next turn uh, I don't think I'm gonna take that give friendly minion plus five health and flying and big frenzy dude I'm going to go with the astral phasing like I said I want more spells right now and Plus five health and flying. But um Yeah. I'll take that. Oh Mirage Master. Copy it a thing. I already seen a Mobius. You replace an additional card each turn. Could be good, but I'm not really strong enough at this game yet to understand exactly what cards in each situation. So I'm going to take the Mirage Master. This is going to be cool. So I'm not sure what the rewards are for playing Gauntlet. If you can choose cards from the uh, from the whatever the, from your deck. So I don't know. Ooh, another Staff of Yikur. I'm going to take that. Uh, another one of this. Scion's first wish. One friendly minion gains plus one, plus one. Draw a card. And summon Dervish. Uh, I'm going to take the two drop. Fire Blaze. Oh, this gives all the Dervishes more attack. Another one of this. And this deals three damage to both. Generals. I'll take the Fireblaze Obelisk card. So now we're getting some good Obelisks. Lots of three drops. Another Blast Dude. This guy's Celerity. I right, take another five drop. But this guy doesn't seem that good. He's just he's a two eight. So I'm gonna take another Blast Dude. Uh. I mean this. This has been pushing an enslavement on me this entire time. Do I finally take it? Uh, or do I take another three drop? Yeah, we're gonna try it out. Just to have some fun with it. So what, Tracer? Move your general up to four spaces. Your minions gain plus one attack. And Bright Moss Gala. Kind of like your minions gain plus one attack. Yeah, so let's take that. Another six drop. Windstorm Obelisk, that's the plus one health one. Hailstone Golem and a Blood Tear Alchemist. Uh, do I need another three drop? Probably not. I mean, the health it really doesn't really matter as much for Dervishes. So, because they go away. So, I'll, I'll take the Hailstone Golem. I have a lot of two drops. I mean, you should have a lot of two drops, though. Shield Oracle, Imperial Mechanist, or Light Bender. I have no dis. I barely have any dispel so far, so I probably take the Light Bender. Yeah. Okay, so that's my deck. Here's the curve. Lots of two drops, a lot of three drops, and a good amount of four drops as well. Then have a few five, six, and seven. Um, so twenty-two minions seems like a lot, but we'll see how it goes.
Alright, so let's play the gauntlet run. So I think we go to nine wins or three losses, whichever comes first. Like in Judgment and Scrolls, it's to five wins or two losses. This is uh, slightly bigger. I'm not sure uh, what the specifications are on Arena, on the Arena in Hearthstone. Um, so this is going to be my first time in Duelist playing with a non Lionar deck. Uh, so far, I've just played with Lionar. I've disenchanted my non Lionar cards. Um, maybe it's good that this Gauntlet has forced me to play something other than Lionar because now. Uh, for the wipe, maybe I'll be comfortable with Vitruvian as well. The one problem is, uh, it's I guess it's good in the beginning to stick to one faction because then you can disenchant all the other cards in other factions, so you have more spirit to buff your lot, your your deck you want to use. All right, we're facing a Magmar deck, uh, so we have to watch out for Frenzy. I'm going first. Don't have a two drop, but I do have this. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of the. I'm actually going to keep this. It's fine. Because I'm just going to play this. And. Yeah, I guess I can move up one. Right up to actually, and get some damage in. So I got a dispel dude and bone swarm. Okay, so now I wish I had the other artifact so I can destroy this guy. Um, I could play ephemeral shroud. That's going to make you a. 2 2. But I want to use the blast though. Um, hmm. uh, I'm going to toss. I'm not going to keep everything. No, I really should toss something and see if I can find the other artifact. So I'm going to get rid of the Bone Swarm. And I get Entropic Decay. Got it. And I'm going to actually deal damage to the general instead. I'm gonna put you down, you can't be reached by anything just yet. I like that you have 9 health. And I'll see what I draw. Sand Howler. Oh, did I take a Sand Howler? I don't remember taking a Sand Howler. And I have an Ethereal Obelisk. Hmm. Oh, so I guess each person does not have the same choices what fashion they can play. Because Magmar was not one of my choices I had. Vitruvian, Abyssian Host, and Venar, I think. So I guess it's just a little roll the dice there. And, alright, he's if he moves him next to... Alright, so I can destroy this dude with a Entropic Decay. Ugh, Rust Crawler. That's gonna be annoying for me if he has that in his deck. Well, I guess he probably only has one. <sighs> so, there goes my blast for now. But, I think it's going to be okay, guys. Boy, the blast would be great. And where's he going to move this? Alright, in the back corner. So, I think we have to get rid of this thing. I mean, I could dispel it, but I think it's just better if I just do this, so I will. Wait, can I not target it? Oh, next to my general. Okay. Um, 
so. Now you become an egg, and may as well destroy the egg. I won't take any damage back. Move up, did I? Oh, I didn't replace anything this turn. Uh, I'll get rid of the Sand Howler. Okay, so the Bone Storm looks good because both of these are next to his general. So, that should be good. And also, I have now a Staff of Ikur, but I don't have Blast anymore, so it's not quite uh, that strong. Um, pretty close game so far. He's level 5, so he definitely knows what he's doing. I assume most of the players in Gauntlet know what they're doing because Gauntlet is a more advanced game mode. So now he has 7 resources to work with this turn, so I am definitely scared. Uh, currently, these guys are in a frenzy range. These two for uh, my portal guardian. Alright, he plays that, and does he have anything else to play? Alright, so he moves there. And he kills. Okay, so I have five to work with. Um. What am I going to play this turn? I think I'm going to... I don't want to take 5 damage, but I think I'm going to have to. It has flying, I want to get rid of it. So if I play this and kill it... I have two resources left. Uh... Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to, and I'll play the Ethereal Abel. So I'll get rid of this guy. Alright, nope, I was hoping I was going to get the Blast thing. Um, and I will play the Staff. Uh, I'm going to stay near him. So I take 6 damage back, that hurts. Move up. And I will play the obelisk. Now you have one attack. So if uh, Repulsor Beast comes up and attacks this guy, I mean he's the Repulsor Beast is gonna die. Now I have Inner Oasis. Um, so that would draw me a card. Uh, but we're not quite that high in resources yet where we're uh, I might not be able to afford playing that. I should probably just put more units or creatures on the board. Still would like uh, to get the artifact that gives Blast. We'll see. And... Now you're a threat because you are going to have some attack. Maybe it was a bad idea putting this obelisk in this spot because now it means that the might be easy for uh, my opponent to uh, to get away from my friend's unit with his general. Okay. Well, he's running out of time. Um, he has six mana to work with. Alright, so he is going to run away. And plays that guy. And that guy. And he runs away with that. My turn. And unfortunately, it spawns over here, so you're not going to be able to do anything. Um, hmm. Anything I wanted to spell? Not really, no. Now, is there a way to destroy this guy this turn? Uh, yes, there is. I can play. Alright, so we'll start playing the Bone Swarms. I know I'm going to play that this turn. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to... Get rid of the uh, 
the Oasis. And that gives flying. Ooh! If I play this on this, attack here, can I deal 3 damage? Um. Not quite. But, is that better? Yeah, let's do that instead. So we'll give you flying. Move you here. Have you attack the general. You attack there. And quickly play this. And deal one damage here. Good. So I think that was a good turn. And you didn't have to do anything. I mean, either way, uh, whatever I did, I had multiple options to play that turn. Um, I guess giving this thing the extra attack right away was a good idea. Oh, I didn't. That was silly of me. I, uh... Wasted one damage. I didn't have to deal one damage to the unit over here with my Blood Tear Alchemist because this had three attack anyways because this Blood Tear Alchemist was summoned and this gains one attack every time something summoned. Or one of my when I summon a minion. But nonetheless it was a very good turn, I think. And I have slightly more uh health on my general than him. So definitely am ahead so far in this game. So then now that's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. And, oh, that's going to hurt. That's a very good card to destroy my big guy. He had 12. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Um, and... That's going to get rid of my thing there. And all of a sudden, he takes the advantage. That was a huge turn for him. Ooh, now I can take control of an enemy minion next to my general. Uh, should I do that? I don't know. Seems pretty ballsy. Just to do that and have him kill himself. I guess I could have him attack himself. I'm going to wait for a better chance to do that. I'm going to run away. Oh no. Magmar has that card that deals so much damage to the general directly, right? I'm scared of that. Uh, and I guess I'll play... Oh crap. I... May have messed this up. I think it's fine. I'm gonna play this. And I'm going to play this. So I'm gonna destroy him. Okay. I don't know why I played him down there. I'm actually in a pretty good frenzy range for him. So hopefully he doesn't have that uh, haste, uh, that rush frenzy guy. Yeah. But this is. This is Gauntlet, so I can't really assume he has any cards. I don't know how many cards are in each faction, so maybe there's a high chance of him having it. Uh, I am at 11 health now. Not quite as low as I just was because of this dude, the Emerald Rejuvenator. Uh oh, is he going to spawn a Frenzy guy in there? No, look, all right, good. he's just going to deal damage to that. Um, I don't really mind. I deal two damage to his general. I might have a lethal next turn. Okay. I think I can win, right? Because I can turn him on himself. Is this gonna work? Oh, is this this enslave is gonna give me a win? Huh. Oh, no, it didn't work. I didn't know what that did. That was... Come on. The card said control. So when would it be good to use if I can't... 
Well, now I have no card. Now I'm, I'm probably going to lose. Darn. Let's run away. That sucked. Wow, I really thought I had the win there with the Enslave. Was I reading the card wrong? No, it said Control Enemy Minion. I guess you can't do it on the following turn? Ugh, that's, that's tough. That's really tough. Oh, yeah, doesn't he have lethal? This guy can... He was able to like, bring him to... Oh! I get him for the following turn. Got it. Okay, it's not the turn you play it. That... Okay, so now I understand, kind of. Uh, will the copy count that stuff? <sighs> How do I wish I had something to move that? Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. All right. Looks like I'll be... I have nine to work with. I'll just destroy this. Box myself in the corner. Um... Play this. Uh, this. And this, I guess. Wow, I'm really boxing the corner there. Okay, so now he gets the controller, right? Or do I get it? Do I get it forever? I don't know. I need to see that card again. What did it... Is it like I permanently get him after I play it, but only starts the following turn? does that'd be good I mean, it still shows that he's like in my control because this is red I don't know um hmm. well I'm unsure <laughs> what's going on here I had no way of destroying uh, oh, I guess I should have should have destroyed the rebirth thing because it just comes back. Well, I couldn't deal damage to the general, so nothing else I was really going to do. Oh, so I do get it. I get it for the rest of the game. Okay, so he's going to kill that. So that is good to know. I get it for the rest of the game. And that's going to... So he does have that guy in the deck. That's the big rush dude. And he doesn't even have an attack yet. Okay then. Let's get rid of this. Uh, No blast. I wanted some blast. So, I can't win the game. If you move two up, you can deal two damage to this. I can deal two more. Let's start by playing the Bone Swarm. No, I don't really need to do that yet. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Because I want to use a lot of units in my hand. Oh, 
quickly play things. There we go. I probably should have played this closer to the action. Come on, one more blast stuff. I'm still worried he has the card where it can just deal like 8 damage to me. I do have 11 health though. I was debating if I wanted to play the Mirage Master on this guy. But that's only a 4 drop and this is a 4 drop. So I don't know. It's fair I guess, but... So he is on the re retreat now. Good for me, but I do have a ranged unit here. Uh, so that will deal damage to this guy. Or whatever I want. Okay. He is a powerful dude. Uh, wow. Now I can't exactly get over there. So, uh, can I get over there and dispel him? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I think I can. Three. So I'm gonna play that, that, and that. Yeah, I can dispel him. I can dispel them both, actually. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to lose any more stuff. So... I'll play the Pyromancer. I don't really want to play him over here, but whatever. Pyromancer. Fireblaze Obelisk. This. So now that doesn't have Rebirth and that doesn't do its crazy stuff. Move over. You're just going to go away anyways. And I will stay in the corner. <laughs> okay, Death Blighter. Oh, now I'm getting my big drops. Death Blighter, opening game until 3 to all nearby minions. So he's like, basically like a frenzy guy almost. And first order of Rock Rain, your minions gain plus one attack. Okay. So, wow, pretty long first game of this gauntlet run. Choose an enemy minion no longer strikes back when it's Alright, so that's not going to deal any damage back. And that's dead, so I lose my blast guy. That's gone. Ooh, maybe I'll do the Mirage Master because it looks like he has a lot of low health things now. They all like grab him. I can copy him. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Well, s um, is try to do anything with this? No. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are both dispelled. Well, that's not dispelled. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna grab that. Let's get rid of her. Okay, so I am going to play you right in your face. I'm going to take you. So do I become a... I do become a 5-2, unfortunately. And then I'll play the Sand Howler. Uh, I'll get rid of that thing. Get 
the damage to you and play this. Oh no, I don't deal two damage to everything? Oh, that was dispelled. So I copied the dispel also. Alright, that's a misplay then. Boy, I'm making misplays here. In that case, I probably would have done stuff differently that turn. Hmm. Well, I guess you make misplays like this if you're playing new cards in a new faction. Silithar. Minus Fist. And do you have Rebirth? No, you were dispelled or something. Okay. Doesn't want to do anything you had. You were dispelled already. And... That's going to become an egg, which can be destroyed by my dervish. Okay, so. Death Blighter. Three damage to all nearby minions. I want to put that over here, but I can't really reach it. Or can I reach it? No, I can't. Uh, let's... Get rid of the bone swarm. Okay, I'll, I'll have a big kind of thing here. So I'll destroy that. Keep you kind of in the back. Through attack, and no blast though. If I can get the blast, then I can start uh, dealing damage to his uh, general. Boy, blast is gonna be good. Okay, so that thing's gonna be coming for me. And the way I'm positioned, I can't actually damage it unless I get a lucky dervish spawn, unless it already dispels this thing or destroys it. Um, so he's gonna get an egg. Oh no, he is Frenzy. And that doesn't deal damage back, so he chose the right thing to deal damage to. So there goes my guy that was going to get big from my opponent playing minions. He plays that. Okay, come on, please, please spawn here so I can move and destroy that. Not quite. Uh. Welp. Now I can play the Death Blighter, and it would actually get decent value. So that costs three. And then I can play this. Do I want to play this? I don't know. Um, let's just, yeah, let's play the. Alright, so I'm going to move like this. Alright, only enemy minions. 
destroy that. You guys are dead. Now I will give myself a lot of extra health. And... Kill you. Deal two damage to you. And I can't really hide from... Oh, oh, I can destroy the egg. I almost didn't see I could destroy the egg there. Okay, good turn. Good turn. All he has left is this thing. But his general has slightly more health than me, and it seems like he's doing a scary plays each turn. So, alright, he goes with the noops. I have another one of these. <laughs> oh, I have this guy now. Finally get the Starfire Scarab. That's dead now. Now this only has one health. Alright, I definitely want to get this blast dude down. Okay, so there goes those guys. And is he, is he gonna destroy him? He is. And he plays a big dude. And that's his turn. Okay, I could play the Staff of Yakur, but then... I'm taking six damage. I really hope I get blast on this replace. There's something. Let's get rid of the first sword of Akrain. I'm not gonna be flying that. This turn at least. So I'll get rid of it. <sighs> I think I guess, I don't know. Uh, oh, what happens when the deck cycles out? I don't know. So... Now what? Do I really... No, I can't do that. I'm just gonna... Wall in the corner here. And Put this down and this down. So, oh, I'm out of cards. So what does that mean? Oh, I take two damage on my general. Okay, and he's going to be out of cards too after this turn. When you replace a card, does it run in your deck? No, I don't think so. So maybe it was bad to do the extra health thing. So yeah, so in this game, when your deck finishes, your 40 cards finish. Actually, 30 cards. Why does it say 40 if it's a 30 card deck speeds a gauntlet? I don't know, maybe it's a bug. But, yeah, that means that... Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be a loss, I think. If he can destroy this uh, Starfire Scarab without using the Thorn Needler. Ugh. That's gonna be game. GG. Wow, that was a long game. Um, and I guess. Gauntlet makes for really long videos. Uh, oh, I got new Vitruvian cards. Cool. Um, so how does this work now? Do I, do, can I still play? Oh, so I still keep my deck. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the entire video. That was really long. Um, that's 50 minutes long. So... I'll have to keep that in mind when I do gauntlet videos in the future. So, unfortunately, I got a loss, uh, but now I know a bit about what gauntlet is about. I will finish this gauntlet run off camera, and I'll figure out what the rewards are, and hopefully I don't go 0-3. I can get some wins along the way. 
Um, unfortunately, I came across a very good player in my first match, and it was a really good game, but he ultimately beat me after I misunderstood some cards. But that'll be it. So, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and follow on Twitch and Twitter, and I'll see you next time. Actually, I might, I might stream the rest of the Gauntlet run. I'm not sure. See you next time.